I'm trying to complete every single raid in the new RuneScape, the first of which is going to be Tombs of a Mascot. But there's just one slight problem. Questing. It's always questing. Fuck gangster rap. Jagex has partnered with me to bring you this series, Fresh Start Worlds, a new world where everyone starts from scratch in a fresh economy. My mission is to get to the raiding dungeons as fast as possible. Click the links in the description for more information on Fresh Start. <laughs> Someone's just paid 300k for a Gmail handle when there won't be any Gmails in the game for two weeks. Welcome to the Wild West economy. To get to Raids 3, I need to complete the Beneath Curse Sands quest, but it's got a lot of requirements. Three big skilling requirements of 62 agility, 55 fire making, and 55 crafting. I've got none of them. We meet again, Fire Malking. Doing fire making and magic at the same time. I need both for Raids 3, so why not do two birds, one stone? <laughs> Oh, I was trying to spell subscribe, but I forgot the fires go out. It could have been so beautiful. Maybe I'm just a freak, but I actually kind of enjoy lighting fires, I'm not gonna lie. 55 fire making, the first stat requirement for Beneath Curse Sands. Nah, man, look at the market, right? Molten glass, 1k each. Oh, surely not. Oh, 800 GP. What? And the other way around. It's not like the G is just going crazy or something. 700. Cost of living crisis right here. Part of the reason why I went and got myself a fire cape is so I can zoom over to the Tazar fight pits where I will do my next method. I need to show my fire cape to this guy so I can get into the inferno area. The gem shop. I'm probably pretty much the only person that can access this in the game. And if I pay with Tuckle, I can buy a massive amount of uncut gems and I'm gonna cut all these for my crafting XP. Step two, I'm using the gems to make into bracelets. They have a 690 GP high alk, so I'm not actually losing very much money here. And I need to give some time to let the shops refill. There's only 12 worlds. In the meantime, it's time to tackle the biggest requirement, 62 agility. And here is where my agility training begins. What's this got to do with agility, you ask? Good question. Museum camp completed for five small fossils. You might have noticed I spend a decent amount of time AFKing at ammonite crabs. When I'm in the shower, when I'm eating, when I'm doing anything else, ammonite crabs go. And they drop a decent amount of fossils. Once these fossils are cleaned, I can take them to the museum, where I will get a reward of one XP lamp per five fossils. There we go. Agility confirmed. 5k Oh, 3.5k XP. All right, this should be the last of the fossils used. A decent amount of agility XP, especially considering that I am under 40, so it is so slow to train right now. Come on. 38 already, nice. Here we are at the Shiloh Village rooftop course. We are going to be completing the Shiloh Village quest. It's got something to do with agility. Ah, uh, yes. One small favor. My favorite quest. My favorite quest. Everyone knows it. One small favor. My favorite agility training method. Two more XP lamps, which I can use on agility and skip any rooftop course under 40. So that's 10K, 41. So huge. And I've got another one. Another 10K, 43. What a kickstart to agility. It's the slowest skill, so it's worth using. At 43 agility, I can now do the canvas rooftop, but that is pretty slow. I need to get to the wilderness course. And plus five with a summer pie means I only need 47. Why summer pie not buy? 25k. It's a miracle. The glass finally came down in price. In theory, at this level, werewolf agility is faster. However, you need energy to do that, I'm pretty sure. And I wouldn't be able to bank and blow glass at the same time. So I think this is better for me. And when I fall down, I'm not sad because I can get three blows in. We've got a problem. The summer pies require 95 cooking. There is currently nobody in the game with 95 cooking, not even close. However, there are people with 83 hunter and summer pies are a drop from dragon imps. So I've got to wait for somebody to get lucky and sell them on the G. I just hit 47 agility and this would be the pie level to go to the wilderness. And I obviously don't have any pies yet. So I don't want to do this rooftop. It's so slow. It's literally like twice as slow. I need to level up my herb law at some point for all these raid potions. And herb law is actually insane money making right now because people can't get started. 45 herb. That's what I need to make super attacks and print money. Right, I'm going to sell super attack potions for 5k each. And the herbs cost 1.6k each. Yep, that's a pretty huge margin right there. I'm the kind of guy everyone hates. Finally, 55 crafting through... A bunch of ragtag methods, but now I can make dragonstone jewelry. Oh my god, I can make rings of wealth. I can just start rinsing people. The question is, how much are dragonstones going for right now? 30 gauge. Oh my days. Big money. Yesterday, I got fucked. I had to pay 151k for a ring of wealth. Today, 
Guess who's getting fucked? It's the circle of life, bitches. Skills making money. This is how RuneScape was supposed to be before the boss drop tables came in and crashed all the supplies. My Ring of Wealth mission is complete. I charged them up, so you can't say it's not a good deal if they're charged. Okay, how much does one of these insta sell for? Obviously, I'm not going to insta sell them all. I just want to gauge it. 60k. I'm not happy with the 60k. We need to gouge the price out of all these motherfuckers. 99k. That's more like it. Oh my god, I'm gonna be rich. It begins. I just got 55 farming. No way. Now I can plant all the herbs in Chambers of Zeric. Good morning. What does the Grand Exchange have in stock for me today? Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Oh my god, I'm making money. Easy game. I'm so sad. The Summer Pie still haven't bought. I'm still 47 agility. I'm not going back to campus. I'm stubborn. I'm doing other stuff while we wait for them to buy. That mystery got murdered. Excalibur, Merlin's Crystal Dun. And I bet you've never seen this quest line before. No way. What are we saying? It didn't buy for 10k. What? Fortress Night Black. And that is King's Ransom Dun. That's a good amount of XP as well. 66 defense. Can't use the prayers yet. Of course, we don't have the prayer level. Oh, come on. I can't use this XP lamp on agility. I don't have a level 50. Bruh. Not struggling with this, I promise. XP. The Night Waves training. Completed. All these levels. That's actually a lot. We're prayer training, but I can't do the suicide method because I've got this fucking stupid lamp that you can't bank and I still don't have the agility level. So, yeah. I paid a pretty penny for these dragon bones and I better not die and multi for them all. You? I don't think so, fam. Come here. Hey! <laughs> I love it. I don't think he's even got anything else. He just tries to spec me out. See you later, bro. Level 60 prayer. That is big for chivalry. Gonna help me out with all the raids, all the quests. I'm obviously gonna get piety, but I cannot afford that right now. So chivalry's gonna have to do. Oh, the dream. The dream. They fought the summer pies. The moment you've all been waiting for. This agility course. You need 52 agility to get in. Oh, that's no problem for a guy like me. A little pie muncher like myself. You, what, can finally use my XP lamp. I've been carrying that for a while. What a headache, but yeah. We're actually going fast right now. No way. I was trying to teleport out and I just got insta-killed by the KBD. Fuck you. I need 62 agility. Finishing off at Sears with some agility potions. No pies anymore. And this one's actually easy for Alking. Plus, I don't want to die for all my money. Boys and girls, I regret to inform you. We're about to lose rank one. It's been a fun ride. But on the YouTube high scores, we're 1k off our rank. Subscribe if you hate Kemp Q. <laughs> I'm joking, but do subscribe. There is level 62 agility. All the stats done for Beneath Cursed Sands. I can get to raid three after some questing. Woo. It doesn't say it on the quest guide, but there is a long line of quests I need to complete before I can go to raid three. And that line starts with Prince Ali Rescue. Gertrude's cat. I'm in the pyramid. I'm hyped. This quest line's getting me going. Tombs of the Masket, we're coming. Another desert quest out the way. Itch Lulululun's little helper. I am in the privileged position where I can come and buy myself. Lock picks are a plenty here. Eviescape is down bad. He can't buy any of the G, so he's killing things in raids. Let's see if we can make someone pay 10k each for these things. Oh my god, yeah, shoot me. You're trolling me. Some people really do have more money than Sensei. Easiest one mil of my life. I'm giving him 500k for the tip. Consider this a debt paid. He gave me free cakes on day one. Pleasure doing business. Oh shit, we're on the boss. <laughs> I didn't even know. I've got like no supplies. Scarab Mage, be humble. It attacks like every 10 ticks. Oh no, that's not good. Contact the final pre-requirements for Beneath Cursed Sands. We're so, so close. Wait, there's two labs? Range again. Hey, 64 range. Time to finish this quest. <laughs> Sorry, what? This guy's gonna hunt, you know? <laughs> I came with no food, I'll flinch him. <gasps> what? UK, we about to get down. Who killing them in the UK? Everybody gonna say UK. Reluctantly, cause most of this press don't fuck with me. The stair one said, tell me cool down, down. Don't act a fool now, now. Always act a fool, ow, ow. Ain't nothing new now, now. Hey, Beneath Cursed Sands completed. And we get the Keras Partisan as well, which is going to really help out in Raids 3, Tombs of a Mascot. Finally, making that walk up the ramp into the Pyramid, Tombs of a Mascot. I'm ready. Not sure that I'll have too many teammates here right now. Going to be a little bit of a solo mission, but that's okay. I'll be able to do it. I hope. This is number one, this is number one, this is number one champion sound.